What's up everyone? My name is Ruben. I'm building a better website with what? Headspin! It's out and you can get it. Are you ready? Let's go. <laughs> What's up everybody? Get the camera on me, please. Please. I'm going to show you what to do after you install Breakdance and Headspin. I have a blank install right here. I recorded this video already because I realized halfway through the video that the little box covered a lot or my little face here, this little webcam, what I'm stuck in right here. Um, where's it at? Here, here, here really um, blocked me. So I need to scoot over this way. Well, what do you do first? You install um, Breakdance, you install Headspin, put in your license for both products. Make sure you're up to date, please. Right, that's what you have to do first. Then go to Headspin. Headspin here offers a lot of options, but the core, excuse me, the core things that we can, that we handle, right? So let me focus on this here. So the decision you have to make first, is this a dark website or a light website? By default, it's light. Most websites are light, but you have the option to uh, select. For example, if you want a dark website, everything automatically changes to uh, dark mode. If you want a light website, everything already changes to light. So that's the first decision you have to make. You can leave it default and you can always come back and change it. You're not stuck, right? As long as you're using our color system, our algorithms will determine if it's light or dark and would automatically switch everything, right? So that's the first thing. You don't wanna change the contrast algorithm. That's perfect the way it is. The project radius, as you're building your websites and you use the medium option for all your border radiuses, you can actually come in here and change and then change it back to off. You can make it more aggressive. You can make it small. You can make those changes within here, right? We also have a page option. We want to help you kind of override the default page width and make it smaller or make it larger. It's up to you. you can, it's your dream. Build it the way you want to. But we give you that option within Headspin. We also have a font multiplier. So if you click this little gear here on the side, you're going to notice all your font. Uh, there's, a, there's a table with all your fonts, right? So you can select everything by default. This is set perfectly. But by the extreme chance you want to multiply it, you come here to, let's say you want to multiply it by seven. Everything gets bigger, right? So you say, no, I don't want those, my font to be that big. I'm going to go back to the default, which is four. It goes back to the size. And the same thing with the spacing. By default, everything out of the box works, overrides a lot of the breakdance settings, and it's simple. You don't have to do anything, but if you want to multiply some section padding, you do the same way. You can actually micro adjust anything here as well. It's up to you. You don't have to change anything. Everything out of the box just works perfectly. Now, what makes um, Headspin super cool, it works 100% with breakdance, right? So this brand color, this reddish color here, um, Oops, I don't have it. Let me add a button really quick. Let me open up this. By default, I think Breakdance has that blue color, right? So you add a button. So let me add a button. By default, it overrides that color. Here, let me close it. It overrides the blue, the ice blue by default. So if you use any other library from any other content creator, like a more blocks and he uses the global settings. Um, you, you would install it and, um, it would take over that color, right? So that's super cool. So if you ever want to change this, for example, let's change it to lime green. There's green colors. Cool. 
you hit save and it automatically updates. So you can, as you're designing and you want to change that color on the fly, you can, but our brand color within Headspin takes over breakdance global color. So if, uh, if you have a color, um, the builder always takes priority. So if you have a color, uh, within your, um, global settings on the brand, remove that. So you have to remove that. And then this takes over, but the builder always takes priority, right? So that's fine. And then this is installing headspin on a blank state. So you want to create, you hit the button here, create, let's say I want to create this pink color. Oops. I got to name it. Um, just call it pink. I want to do this pink color. And then I want to add another color here. Let's do mm, this teal, the teal, this teal here. And then you add that color, right? So you have these colors added to your website, but they don't appear anywhere, right? So the first thing you have to do is create a homepage or create or open up a page, right? Open up breakdance. So you still have the page open over here open up um, breakdance, click the three little dots. You would hit um, global settings. You would hit colors. Then you would open up your palette. What you have to do first is select any color. If you have colors in here, you're good. But if, if you're installing it from a blank state from a very first fresh install, you would choose a random color. It's just yellow. It doesn't matter. Technically, it doesn't matter what color you have, but you have to add a color first. Boom, you added a color. Go back to the previous page. And what we're doing is we're syncing up Headspin with Breakdance. So now hit the word sync. You run the sync. And you're going to notice all the colors have been injected into Breakdance. Right? So then now... Um, Delete the yellow we've created, close the panel and save. Now, oops, now we open up head spin, or excuse me, open up break dance. And now as you're designing, you have all the colors available to you. So if you, let me add a section and I want this next section. Oops. This next section to be dark. You would go to your color palette, choose the dark green. This is your dark palette or your dark color within your theme, right? And, or you want it black, right? So then you add a heading. You can go in here and then change the color if you want to. And then now this um, header will be automatically converted. So. For example, let's say you build out a bunch of websites. So let's do this. So let's do this. Multiply, not multiply, copy. Okay. So now you have this website you designed, right? Now you want it to be uh, dark. Everything inverts. So whatever was light is light is dark. And whatever was dark is light now. And that's it. And you just start designing all the pages. If you want a hero, you start creating all the all the sections for your website. Let me make it back light. And then you should start building uh, whatever you want. So that's the how simple it is to get started with Headspin. I hope this video was beneficial to you. I hope you were able to understand that at this point, you just start building your website like normal using um, um, using our color system, I'm um, using um, everything else is automatic, right? The typography. Oh, and if you need to change a few things, so let's say here, this font size, you go to your panel. I'm not even showing you the most important part is here. You go to your fonts, you right click. Now you have a cool panel to help you uh, create all the variables simple for you. So we have a medium font, medium fonts, default, but if you need this a little bit larger, um, it works if you need it a little bit smaller, like an accent heading, you do it here if you want, right? So medium is the default, so you don't have to have anything there on the heading. 
um, you select the tag. I don't need this to be an H2, but I want it to be super large. Right click, go to your heading size and type in what's what you want it. What size do you want it to be? So you want a jumbo, you want an H1 size, you want an H3 size, but it's tagged as an H1 or an H2 in this case. So you want it super large, right? If you want to add spacing, uh, padding, the same thing. So now you have this thing at your disposal. So now um, I don't have an image on here. I might have to do the next video, but then you can do border radiuses. Oh, let's do, you can do different things. The padding, right? So you add a space variable, like for example, here, your gap needs to be, you want it to be medium. So now everything's set to medium. So that's super cool. We have a really, uh, cool pop-up to help you add all these variables inside the builder automatically. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to type or remember, is it 30 pixels this time? Is it 10? And all this is, um, it scales with the, with the project, right? It's not fixed. So fixed variables or fixed numbers. It's not any pixels. So, um, I think it's super cool. Everything works out of the box and that's how you get started. Right? So, um, the same thing with, okay, so I'll show you that and see what else. Am I missing anything? I don't want to, I don't want to miss anything here. We have the spacing, the section spacing, the radius, the text size and the heading size that's included in the pop-up that's included in head spin. Um, in this core edition, mm, I think that's it, right? I know I'm missing something and somebody will call me out, but I will be making more videos. But this is how you install. Um, this is how you install Headspin on a blank install. I hope you had fun. Let's get going and let's build better websites. <laughs>